Morning YouTubers, morning sugar phobes, morning vegans, morning non-vegans. So I have a question. What is it? <laughs> I have a question. The question is, right, <clears throat> there's a lot of sugar phobes in the vegan communities, that, like people sugar phobe anyway, right? I've been having, I've been high carb vegan for the last seven years, seven years just smashing the fucking fruit sugars in, the refined sugars. And at the beginning, everyone was like, "You're gonna get, you're gonna be diabetic. You're gonna, you're gonna die of sugar. <laughs> you're gonna die of sugar. You're gonna be like dead within like a year of having sugar." And the only thing that's happened to me is that I have got hella fit. I've got really fit cycling and running. Uh, a lot of people said, "You know, I, I, I ask this question. I say, well, what is actually bad about like refined sugar? Say like table sugar, right?" And they go, "Well, it's gonna make you fat." It's going to make you fat, right? Okay, sure, sure. It doesn't make you fat, believe me, because I'd be a beast now. That I mean, I go through bags upon bags of white refined sugar. I have a smoothie. If you look at my videos, I have smoothies. So I put the, the fruits in the blender and I add copious amounts of white refined sugar. And I've I met like people in the movement. I met I've met them, and they've gone. Like, I've seen your videos, and oh my god, the amount of sugar you added in your smoothie! It's like I said, no, don't do that. <laughs> do they? And you look at their times. They're like running, but they are so fucking slow. My gran, my ninety-six-year-old gran, God rest her soul. Um, could run faster 5k than they do. They are slow as. It's because they're not eating enough sugar. They're not getting the sugars in. They're eating like avocados, whatever they eat. I don't know what, what they eat. They're probably like anti-pasta, anti-potatoes, anti-sugar. But, you know, they're just not getting the carbs in. The slow runners, They need you need to get the carbs in to be an athlete. You need to, you know have that cycle of carbohydrates that give you the energy to do the exercise. So it's like a the carbs, exercise, and then you're going to get fitter. That's the whole circle of fitness. And then they say, yeah, but it's going to make you fat. And people say, well, it doesn't make you fat. Okay. So then people say, it's the exercise that keeps you slim. Okay, right. Well, let's get on to another point. If that was the case... Why are people in very active jobs still fat? Why were there fat people at the running club I used to run with that have been doing it for years and years and years? They're still beasts. They're still slow. They're still beasts. It's because you cannot out-train a bad diet. So there's people like that work in the postal industry that are delivery drivers, that are like milkman, dairy milkman back in the day. They were Some of them were fat. Some of them were fat. Some of them had died of heart attacks on the job, okay? So I know several postmen that were doing the same amount of mileage I did every day, which is like 25 plus miles. By the time you work out, when you get into the office, you're sorting and you're, you're unloading lorries and you're moving about in the office. And then you go out after sorting your round out for two hours, then you're out walking another 10 to 15 miles every single day six seven days a week plus overtime a lot of them done overtime so you're walking like 25 to 30 miles every single day um, and these people are still big so they had that kind of fitness going on but they were they were big they were big people if, you, if, you, if that makes sense and a couple of these guys just they just dropped down heart attack in the middle of their rounds um so it's not just like exercising that keeps you fit and um, lean and fit. So you can still be big. If you want to be lean, you have to have the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates keep you slim. I've done I've done months and months and months of no training and just smashed in the fruit and the refined sugars, just smoothies and sugars, and say like pasta in the evenings. Potatoes. I'm a big fan of potatoes, and I haven't got a beast. I'm not. I'm not a big lad. I am just. I'm not a beast. I am. Look. Look at my arms. Look at my neck. There's. There's no fat. There's no fat on me. There's. Look. 
it's just it doesn't make sense so you get all the sugar phobes out there you get all these people that are like no sugar oh, it's so bad for you it's just a trend it's a trend it's a trend and it's made up by the meat in the day industry to to get people scared out of their, their lives of eating potatoes so they have to restrict they have to restrict on their the diets of eating all this meat you have to restrict on a car on a omnivorous diet you cannot keep on with that and not expect to gain weight gain weight it's like biscuits it's like people say with biscuits you know they, they have a biscuit and they think it's the sugar that's making them fat but if you look at what a fat content of a biscuit it's like 20 30 grams per biscuit you understand that? so it's, it's not the sugar in the biscuit that's making you fat it's the fat the fat you eat is the fat you wear so have a go, good day people um I hope that's cleared things up. I'm out.